So that was the last leg piece there, and I just have a few more gears to print out. And then I have to put this whole mess together. Wow, that's gonna be a lot of work. In one of these, there are five different pieces, like one there, two, three, four, five, I think. Um, lots of super glue is involved. And I've already got the motors. I think these will be good. Just found them on eBay. I was considering powering the whole thing with a drill. So I bought a small wireless drill and then made a, a drive gear that actually fits right on the uh, chuck. So I could uh, mount this in the robot and then I could drive it. But uh, I decided I'm gonna use all the, the same gearing that's in the actual toy robot and just get some motors that'll run it. And I'll just use the, the battery from the drill to run it. Plus really, I just needed a new drill. I wanna make sure my gears come out nice and flat so I'm gonna sand this, which I do fairly regularly. So in a nutshell, I'm making the coolest 3D printed thing I've ever seen. It's a 3D printed puzzle robot. Like, here, check out these pieces. This is clearly too big to fit inside my 3D printer. So it's got these puzzle piece things and it fits together. And I'll probably put a little bit of glue in all the pieces, but uh, those ones hold together pretty well, actually. These ones definitely need But it's glue. gonna be a robot that's like this. Jamie, remember to put a little clip in right here of the, the, the smaller one. And the smaller one has these size pieces, and this is the, the same piece as this, just scaled up to the bigger size that I'm making now. And here is like the main body part. You know, the legs will stick out like this. It'll be four feet wide or something. Anyway, it's gonna be really cool. Oh, and uh, some of the details I've been sure to keep are the slots like this where the explodo armor fits. So I could hypothetically make giant exploding armor that flies off the thing when it gets hit. But right now I'm just making the basic thing. Now that piece will take about three hours and I've calculated it and I should be able to get all the rest of the pieces finished before I leave England. And I've been printing these pieces out for several months actually. I needed uh, something to do while I was working on all the, the robot toy designs because I was like slogging through the computer for endless hours and I needed something in real life to play with. So I've just been printing out, just, I don't know, hundreds of pieces. So one of the things this robot over here is saving my sanity from is reading through about 40,000 different robot names. Actually, they're not all different. There's a lot of duplicates. Ooh, that's a good one. Wait, but that's copyrighted by someone else. Ooh. A lot of people are pointing out that I should just call it the greatest toy in the universe, since I already sort of called it that. But in that case, would I get a free robot? <gasps> no, I'd have to give it to whoever first suggested that I should just call it that. Anyway. I need like 20 friends with these things. I did make very minor changes from the original toy design to the this big one. I mean, other than the fact that I made it a lot bigger and I chopped all these holes in it so it would print out faster. Anyway, one of the things I changed was this was originally a 33 tooth gear and I switched it to a 32 tooth gear for some reason I may get into it in the future at some point. But anyway, so this gear is slightly smaller than it was before, which means the hole for the gear beside it, which is this nice pretty green one, needs to be slightly closer to this gear than it was before, but I printed this piece out before I made that change. Ah, That's okay, it's not the end of the world. I don't want to print out the whole piece because this was like a several hour piece. So I drilled this hole out bigger than it's supposed to be. 
and I'm going to put an insert in it that's offset to put the hole in the right place. Okay, this piece here, this hole has moved. Right, it used to be bigger. Okay. Okay, let me just back up here. Oh, yeah, there's the old hole. Ah, old hole, new hole. Just need the distance. Hmm. Right. One and a half millimeters. Got it. And I drilled the hole out to, oh, 15 64 inches. Ah, where's my metric system? All right, let's try that. Okay, it's just under six millimeters. Good. By the way, thanks to the wonders of SolidWorks and Windows, I am running with a terminal error. Now, if I click either of these buttons, the program will shut down. However, it seems to work as long as I don't touch that. Let's make a new part. Right, let's make that. Okay, there's my six millimeter plug and the hole, which happens to end up right on the edge of the circle, which is not going to print out very well. So if I make my hole smaller than it's supposed to be... Oh wait, that was the wrong dimension. As I was saying, if I make my hole smaller than it's supposed to be, then it'll be able to print that out, and then I can just drill this out bigger after I get it in place. Ha! Ah. Right, so let's make one of those. Good. This is so funny, it lets me save files and everything. As long as I just ignore this stupid error message. Okay, I think all this goes on the end of one of those. Yeah, just, just like that, right, of course. Yeah. Oh, oh, sweet! Oh, which number was this? I don't Remember. I'll have to check the computer files. Don't want to print the same piece again. Yeah, about like that. Hmm. Oh, sort of like that. Now with any luck, this hole here will hold a motor. Oh wow, sweet. Don't even have to adjust it or anything. Excellent. Uh, I think I just have two more pieces of the gear housing part and then I can print the actual gears and hopefully make, make this thing do something. Come on, come on. 